Gary Schreiner grew up on a family farm near Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, and these days he's cropping about 4,100 acres every year. He's also an inventor and manufacturer with a company called Gatco Manufacturing. One of his newest products is an auger hopper he calls the auger hog, an idea which grew out of his frustration with commercially available hoppers. Here his son Kyle helps him with the auger hog. Over the years I, I, I bought various other styles of hoppers and I couldn't fit them underneath my grain trailer and, and as equipment got bigger, the problem got bigger. Um, we ended up with uh, bigger hoppers which had more grain left over in them. They were heavier to carry around or to push underneath the bin. And I ended up where um, farming on my own and I realized I couldn't um, slide a hopper around and stuff by myself. Since some of his own hopper bins had sunk lower in the ground after a couple of years of wet weather, Schreiner built the auger hog to be adjustable to fit under different heights of bins and grain trailers. Making the actual adjustment is quite simple. Leave it in the down position, drive it underneath your trailer or your um, hopper bin granary, get it in position, and then you can adjust it to any height you want. Halfways, or all the way up. And if you have, in a situation where you have a real low trailer or hopper bin, you also have an ex additional adjustment in the front. So you can drop it right down that the hoop of the hopper is right on top of the grain auger, basically. An optional rubber ring allows Schreiner to seal the end of the auger hog onto the auger tube. Uh, it doesn't vibrate on the grain auger. Um, if you're running the grain auger real, real low, there's no grain can ever come out of it. It's sealed off nice and tight. Schreiner equipped the auger hog with all the features he was looking for as a farmer, including a heavy duty skid plate for sliding the auger under hopper bins and trailers. I'll put it right down on the ground and it just slides over any rough ground or, or smooth surface, just like a toboggan. Just slide it under your hopper bin and um, just pull, push down on your handle and it sucks right tight up around your hopper. The unit fits on 8 and 10 inch augers and they have another bigger version for 12 and 13 inch augers. The high U-shaped design of the auger hog has helped Schreiner speed up loading his Super B to the point where he figures he is gaining several minutes per load. Grain slides down along the side and since it's only an inch, inch and a half away from the flighting, it forces itself into the flighting. And the other reason is because you can fill your hopper up right to the front of the end feed because of the, the corners on the hoop. They, there's, it's a square hoop on top and instead of a V-shaped hopper and you can fill it right up to the neck of the grain auger. They use 14 gauge steel for most of the auger hog and then put in the best, heaviest weight canvas they could find around the sides of the hopper for maximum durability. After the truck is full, clean out is quick and easy. You'll have about one uh, shovel full of grain left in it. Uh, we do have a two inch round hole in the front for clean out. You just uh, loosen one bolt and slide your plate out when you want to do the final clean out. This is a 51 foot, 10 inch diameter Secundiac auger, but the auger hog comes with a hitch adapter so it can fit on any auger model. Just lift it up. Put it on the end of the auger. Grab my pin. Slide it on. I throw my pin in and it's mounted. After designing the original prototype, Schreiner contracted Vincent Callistro of Callistro Industrial Design to help find the best manufacturing methods and at the same time keep the cost down. So that means uh, a precision in, in the detailing and the drawings and so on that uh, can be taken anywhere. Also, we kind of um, look at the, uh, any strength issues and so on, one way or other. Either it can be analyzed uh, uh, with the computer or else uh, prototypes built and tested. The hopper measures 34 inches by 40 inches, which should be big enough to handle any hopper door currently on the market. 
The auger hog has a total weight of 118 pounds and was retailing for right around $1,100 at the time of our visit. It's available through a dealer network covering the Prairie Provinces, the Dakotas, Montana and Australia.